you know, I was in like seventh or eighth grade myself, you know what I'm saying, when y'all were really taking over the world, right? We talking about 04, 05, 06, you know? I'm 31 years old, you know? Um, and as much as I like to talk about success, you know, we got to shine a light on the bullshit because without negative, there probably won't be no positive. You know what I'm trying to say? So um, when I look at you, I think about not only Dipset, Karen Ron Jewel, I think about Max B. Nah. No Max B. What's up? <laughs> say, say that. I love that type of response. You know what I'm saying? Say less. No, nah, hell no. Nah. When you talk about dead people, and I'll talk about people locked up. So, you heard? Yeah. What's up? I say some shit I want to be able to say it to your face if I have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did? Yeah. So that was one thing I always made it a point to do. So just keep that in mind for yeah. the next time you speak to a real nigga. No doubt. Talk about dead people or somebody's people locked that's up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'm glad you pointed that out to me, bro, because, like I said, we we from the rack, and, you know, we do a lot of the interviews, and um, in our market, a lot of the fans, they want to know about the people that's either dead or locked up. You know what I'm saying? And so we do interview a lot of guys that, you know, speak on them and the fans. I know how I go in Chicago. I know how they speak on the ops. I know the whole thing and shit like yeah. that. But where I'm from, I come from a different time. I come from real hustlers and shit like that. Niggas that really got money and really was in the street. There's certain code and certain things that I'm just not accustomed to doing. Mm -hmm. And me talking about a dead person holds no merit to me. Merit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If that's your op, you already won. You're not here no more, no matter what were the circumstances. So what? You get out of talking about that. Man. You definitely ain't getting a blessing. For sure. You heard? For sure. It's about energies and blessings and shit like that. Where I'm at in life, you heard? I have did so much in life that I'm just praying that I can live as long as possible and be blessed while I'm living as long as possible. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I've, I've, I'm not young as I used to be. I've done a lot of things that a lot of these kids are going through. And as a youngster, you have to go through shit to live. So it's hard to tell a person to stop what they're doing because that's telling them to stop experiencing life. But I'm just telling them to move accordingly. Be a little bit smarter while you're living life so you can live a long life because everybody is not as lucky as me. I promise you that. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. We got DJ University interviewing Jim Jones. And you know, he tried to ask him about Max B in case y'all don't know. Or if you haven't been following Jim Jones, you know, he was once on the Joe Budden podcast with Rory and Maul. And, you know, more uh, Maul had asked him about Max B. And, you know, Jim shut that down immediately. He wasn't trying to talk about it. And, you know, he checked Maul instantly about it. You know, I don't want to say check, but you know what I mean? He shut that down, basically. And, you know, he did it a little more, you know, in an easier tone this time, letting it be known, yo. I don't talk to people that's locked up or dead. You know what I mean? I definitely respect that. It seems like he got, you know, some morals and some integrity. You know, he's from a different, you know, different side of the world. You know, Harlem, you know, it's a little different from Chicago, L.A., Miami, vice versa. And, you know, the time he came out of and where he's from, you know, I'm sure they don't do that. You know, it's a lot of people that don't speak on the dead. But, you know, Chicago is a little different out there. You know, they made that into a whole musical thing. You know, smoking on your op packs and, you know, whatnot. But, you know, I find it a little interesting because I feel like when Jim was on the uh, Joe Budden podcast, you know what I'm saying? I don't think he was, you know, prepared for it. But I think he sat around and thought about it a little bit, you know, because he knows the Max B questions are inevitable. But, you know, most interviewees are going to know about that moment. So they probably ain't going to bring it up with them. But, you know, I respect DJ University, too, for, you know, throwing it out there. But I also respect Jim for standing on the square and, you know what I'm saying, not... Not talking about nothing he don't want to talk about. Because at the end of the day, a lot of y'all be claiming about rappers going on Vlad TV because they talk too much and say too much. Well, here it is. You know what I mean? But anyway, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. 